Hello everybody, I'm just going to make this video to show you how to uh, set up your Kodi. Okay, so once you open your Kodi, what you want to do is you want to go first of all into your system, then you want to go into File Manager, and you want to go to Add Source. and we're going to start with the first one so it's http colon forward slash forward slash fusion dot tv add-ons dot ag head done okay and then you want to give it a name so we're just going to call it fusion hit OK and then we're going to add another source hit OK so it's HTTP colon forward slash forward slash I dot total XBMC dot TV hit done then go down and give it a name. So we're going to call this one total. Hit OK. Add another source. So it's going to be HTTP colon forward slash forward slash SRP dot NU. Hit done. Go down and give it a name. So we're going to call it SRP. Okay. Add another source. And we're going to do HTTP colon forward slash forward slash Cody dot Metin Kettle dot cl head done and we're going to give it a name all right and we're going to call it mk hit okay i'm going to add another source so it's going to be http colon forward slash forward slash x trinity X Trinity dot X Unity talk dot com head done go down give it a name so we're gonna call it X Trinity hit OK Sometimes this might happen, it might take a few seconds. So it's X, yeah, there we go. So I'm going to add another source HTTP colon forward slash forward slash Zeus repo dot com forward slash repo head. Actually, I'm going to fix that it's it's actually uh, Zeus repo.com slash forward slash uh, Zeus okay there we go hit done and automatically the name is actually down there for you so just press OK there we go then add another source so HTTP column so forward slash forward slash and I will I will follow dot com forward slash I W F hit done all right okay 
There we go. And then we're going to do HTTP com forward slash forward slash halo dot x10 dot vz done. I'm going to go down and give it a name. So we're going to call it halo. All right. Add another source. So we're going to call it HTTP com forward slash forward slash lie hat tv dot com forward slash install done. There we go. All right, so we're just going to hit OK. I'm going to add one last source. So this is going to be HTTP com forward slash forward slash. It's going to be upgrades dot Montreal and Roid TV dot com. Hit OK. I'm going to call it upgrades. There we go. Gonna hit OK. So that is all basically for the sources. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to go back. All right. And we're going to go into system. And then we're going to go down to add-ons. And we're going to go down to install from zip file. So we're going to hit OK on that. And we're going to start with Fusion. Now the reason why I have Fusion and then I have Fusion another one, well, is because I I did this one already before, but I just wanted to show you how to do it. Uh, so you just do it once, you're not going to have both of them. Um, but mine was already done, so I just wanted to do it again and just uh, give you an idea how it's done. All right, so we're going to go down to, doesn't matter which one. So hit on that. So first thing you want to do is you want to hit start here. Okay. And you want to go down to plugin.video.hubwizard-1.1.9 zip. So click on that. Give it a few seconds. All right. There we go. So in the bottom there, it says config wizard add-on enabled. Perfect. So now we're going to install from zip file again. So we're going to Fusion one more time. We're going to go to XBMC uh, repo. Hit OK on that. And we're going down to English. And we're going to add this one, which is repository.dkxbmc uh, repaired on uh, dot zip. So let's hit that one. Give it a few seconds to. There we go. So add on is enabled. So once that's completed, we're going to hit again, install from zip file. Go again to a fusion. And then we're going to do XPMC repo one more time. English. And we are going to install the following. So we're going to do the repository.lambda. Okay, 1.1.0. So we're going to hit OK on that one. Again, give it a few seconds. So add on enabled, perfect. All right, so install from zip file one more time. We're going back to Fusion again. Okay, and we're going to go to XPMC repo. So hit that, go down to English. Okay. And we are going to go down to No, missed it. So there it is. It's XBMC Chop. So I'm going to install that one as well. Now you can install all of them if you wish. It's up to yourself. I installed myself the ones that I think are good. 
the other ones I'm sure there's other good ones as well uh, but for what I'm for me I think that's good enough but I mean for you you can definitely install all of them if that's what you want to do now so once we're done with that we're gonna go again install from zip file so now we're done with fusion so we're gonna go down to halo click OK on that and we're gonna choose repository halo repo so we're gonna hit that give it a few seconds to install just wait for the message in the bottom don't rush it there we go add on enabled so now install from zip file one more time so now we're going down to IWF all right so repository I will follow dot XBMC hit OK on that Add on enabled, perfect. So install from zip file again. And now we're going to go to MK, hit OK on that. And we're going down to repository, metal kettle uh, 1.5.1, hit OK on that. And there we go, add on enabled. And we're going to go again, install from zip file. So you got to do every single one of those. And then we're going to go down to... Now, if you have Helix, then you want to choose Helix, if that's what you're running. But if you're running the latest release, which is the Isengard, okay, uh, you would select the Isengard. I'm running the Isengard, so I'm going to go with that one. And then I'm going to go All, hit that, and Super Repo Q Cody, Isengard All, Hit that. Give it a few seconds. There we go. Add on enabled. There we go. So we're going again. Install from zip file. And now we are going down to total. And we're going to in the last one, total installer zip. So we're going to hit that. Let it install. Again, I would always recommend that you wait for the notification in the bottom, okay, telling you that add-on is enabled. Okay, it's always a good idea. Then again, install from zip file. So now we are going to go down to upgrades, hit that, and we are going down to IPTV. From here, we're going to install IPTV Stalker. Okay. You could also install from here the iView TV Guide. Okay. I already have IPTV Stalker installed, so I'm just going to do the iView TV Guide. So I'm going to hit that. Actually, we'll go back to upgrades. Uh, there's uh, I'll show you just a few good add-ons that you um, may want to install as well. So there we go, iView TV Guide add-on enabled or updated. Alright, so there we go. Now we're going to go back to upgrades again. I will show you just if you go under, uh, you can install the Sport Devil from here, Sports Devil. Um, we go to Android. Let's see what these guys have. No, let's go back. All right, install from zip file. Back again to upgrades. Go to IPTV. Uh, you can download this Can TV Live. Okay, texture. You can install Hushan List as well and Lihat TV from here, Live TV, Pod God. I think this is mostly for Canadian um, TV, and Zeus Repo, we could also install it from here if you want to, uh, but I'm not going to do that, I will install it from, I'm going to go down, 
let's do this one first, Xfinity. So we're going to go to Xfinity Talk Repository. So let's do that. There we go. Add on enabled. I think we only have one left. There we go. Zeus. We're going to do that one. That's the last one. Now, depending on how fast your net, okay, uh, this might take a little bit longer. Now, I'm, I'm actually my net is quite fast, so it's it's not taking too long. So okay, there we go. So now this is done. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go back. Okay. And we are going to go to programs. Hit okay on that. And you want to go to config wizard. Now, uh, if you are running Kodi on Mac, then you want to choose Mac. If it's Windows, you want to choose Windows. If you're doing it on an Android box, you want to choose Android. So make sure you choose the right one. Okay. Now I'm doing Mac, so I'm going to run it on Mac. So would you like TV add-ons.ag to customize your add-on selection? Hit yes. Now again, this might take a bit longer, so this can take up to five minutes, maybe ten minutes. Uh, could be faster than that again. Uh, so just, it's gone pretty fast, so I'm hoping it'll only take a minute. Come on. There we go. No, it's taken faster than I expected. That's pretty good. There we go. So now it's going to bring you back once it's done to this screen right here. So what you want to do after that is you want to go to systems, hit that, and go to add-ons. Hit OK on that. And now we're going to go install from repository. Okay. Now notice here that it says available updates. Well, you can do the updates if you want. So you can go down here and just hit update all. And there we go, boom, boom, boom. Voila, done. So let's go back. So I've done all the updates. So go to add-ons. Okay. Now, set that. There we go. So now we're going to install it from repository. So I'm going to click on that. Uh, you could always go into each individual one. Okay and choose what you want, uh, it's up to you. But what I like to do is I go all repositories, then I go all the way down, and I choose video add-ons, okay, hit okay on that. And now here you could choose uh, add-ons that you can definitely install. You can try some of them, uh, but I'm only gonna do the ones that I know are working for sure. So two movies evolved. Oh, I have that one already installed. But if it wasn't installed, it would be here. Instead of uninstall, it'd be installed. So you click on that and let it install. Mine is already done. So let's see what else. Zeus, let's try that, see if I have that. Oh, I guess I have that one as well. There we go. Triple uh, A Live TV. Yep, let's install that one. Okay, there we go. It's enabled. Uh, I'm going to do Halo as well. Oh, well, it's done already. All right. Keep going. Nope, you can definitely install this random tune. Uh, oh, mine is installed already, but this has lots of cartoons on it for the kids. Um, lots, lots of really cool cartoons. Some I like myself. All right, you can install this one, PBTS. There we go. I'll install that one as well.
Let's go down more. There's lots of different ones you can you can most certainly try. Um, you might like them. Okay. And it's all cartoon HD extra. Has interesting stuff on it. Mine is already installed. As you might see, it's quite a list, but at least you know you go through everything you know what you want to install and what you don't want to install. Uh, you could always add more, try them out, and see how I like them. go. Yep, let me install this one. Yep, oh, it's already installed. So I guess it already knows that I like it, so that's why it's there. Hmm. wonder if that's the case. All right, oh, I'm going to keep going down. I'm just going to show you which ones I usually install, but again, you're more than welcome to install all of them and try them out, and then you could easily delete them later, if, you know, take them out. So, Go Movies, that's, yep, yeah, that one's there too. Go TV, yeah, perfect. Yeah, you got actually, I forgot to mention Hoosham uh, list right there. This is actually pretty cool. This guy's, you know, he's done a lot of good work. And he continues to do an awesome work. Uh, I'd like to say thank you. Yes, everybody who works on uh, Cody does really great uh, work. I'd like to thank everybody. Uh, for the continued uh, good work. And there we go, IPTV Stalker. I know that I already have it installed. Yep. But might want to install that. Now, IPTV is a paid subscription, so uh, it's not free. So, you know, I mean, uh, if you want to install it, I would say it's definitely a good idea. It does save you the hassle of having to go through uh, the free channels, uh, you know. Let's go more. There we go. Go through all of them. Make sure I have all the ones I want. There we go, come on. You can install this one as well. It has um, HD movies. Uh, but I'll tell you, uh, Genesis, which is already installed in Ice Films, have really great stuff in there. You can even install much music or much movies, sorry. Okay. Going. Uh, NaviX is also great. Uh, it's already installed. You could always check. If you don't have it, you can definitely install it. Phoenix is also a great add-on. Let's go. 
and Robin Hood is actually very good. It's already there. Yeah, there's Sport Devil. Let's see if that one is installed. Perfect. It's already there. Salts is also good. Yep, good. I have it installed already. Almost done with the list. Now, this guy has done great work as well. Uh, you can download uh, Vivo TV, has lots of great uh, uh, music videos. Uh, and even Vivo because you can search for music and search for uh, a lot of different stuff, artists and music videos as well. World News Live. Yeah, we got that one. It's perfect. This one as well. Yeah, it's already there. Perfect. There we go. Well, I think that kind of does it. There we go. So now it's all done. You've gone through the list. You've, just, you've installed the ones you want. So now what you do is you go back. So we're going to just exit out of here completely. And now we can go into videos and then video add ons. Okay, there we go. So we have all the different add-ons right here. You can definitely go through them and see what they have. Uh, each one has lots of different stuff and uh, these guys have done great work. All right. There we go. All right, and uh, I hope this uh, is this is helpful, and I hope this kind of gives you an idea how to set up Kodi. Yeah, I think it's pretty straightforward. Um, you can definitely set up your weather. Actually, let me show you how to do that. Uh, so to do the weather, is you need to go to System. You know, you go to Weather, and now you're gonna go to. Well, I already have. Yahoo, okay, but in case you didn't have anything in there, what you can do is just click on that on there, click on Get More, all right, and through the list, you can select whichever one you want, but I found Yahoo to be the best, okay, and then after that, you go into Settings, you go into Location, uh, you have up to three locations, uh, so you can just put in the name of the city, uh, that you want and it will come up. So let's actually try one. So we're just going to try uh, Dublin. There we go. Head done on that. There we go. Dublin, Ireland. So we're going to select the first one, not Dublin, Ohio. Apparently there is another Dublin in Ohio. All right. Uh, so we're going to click OK. And we're just going to go back and it should be enabled. Now another thing you can do is you can go into your appearance and you can definitely modify this whichever way you want. Uh, you go here, you can change the region, uh, you could change all these different things, you can change the temperature units whether it's Celsius or Fahrenheit, the speed units as well. I like mine this way. Uh, there we go, you can adjust your screensaver if you want it to go into a screen saving mode. 
three minutes, you can definitely change that to less or more. Okay. So once that's all completed, technically your Kodi is all set and ready to go. Uh, you can definitely start enjoying watching. Let's check the weather here. Click on that. There we go. So it's it's looking good. There we go. So I'm just going to get out of here. And now again, so it's videos, video add-ons. You go through each add-on, explore what it has to offer. There's different uh, different ones. All of them are working perfectly. Uh, they do now the live channels uh, because they need to be updated on a regular basis, so they do tend to go down sometimes, or some of the channels might go down. Uh, some people kind you know prefer to go that way, I suppose. Uh, but remember, if you want to go with the subscription and not have to worry about uh, the channels going down, you can always uh, use IPTV. Okay. No, let's exit out of here. And the other thing is actually IPTV also gives you access to a lot of different channels, more than 400 channels. Uh, now, since we're here, let me actually also show you one more thing, that if you want to change the appearance of the skin, okay, the way to do that is actually you go into uh, skin, and then you could choose, if you, you could go to get more down here, okay, and you can definitely go through the list, see what they have. You can always try some of them, see if they work, if they like them, if you know, and set it up. I will post videos as I go uh, for as many skins as, as possible on how to actually set them up. Right now, I do have a video on Amber and uh, how to set it up if, if, if I think it's actually pretty cool. But there's other ones too. There we go. All right, so that's how you do that. So since I've already have, I already have Amber right there, so I'm just going to click that. I'm going to say, yep, I'm just going to keep that. There we go. And that's what the amber looks like. And to know how to set it up, please watch my other video. And it will uh, show you how to actually set it up. All right. I hope this video was helpful. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, please uh, let me know. Uh, you can always uh, email me or, uh, or call me, I suppose. Well, uh, you guys can take care and enjoy the rest of your day.